Wait, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. So listen, a lot of you guys, or most of you actually, wouldn't know that I was in the National Arts Honor Society, right? I got to do a bunch of art. I had fun. Um, most of you know my art as in my knife designs, right? That's where a lot of my artistic talent goes nowadays. It's into my knife brain, right? I've showed you guys on a different video some drawings that I had that I found from a long time ago, and I just decided to show you. And of all the different art I've done, one of the things I've done the least is painting. To take a brush and just brush stroke all over the place, and it, it's just boring to me. So I wanted to get into some painting, and I thought, how can I make it less boring? Change the brush, right? So, this is what we're doing. I'm going to do a series of abstract animals. Sorry, hold on. Abstract animals, right? I'm going to do five of them. I'm going to do a butterfly. I'm going to do a crocodile. I'm going to do a shark. I'm going to do something else that I forgot that I already have lined up to do. And one of the things that I'm going to do is a hawk, right? With a beautiful, majestic hawk. Kind of looks a lot like this. That's right. So basically what I'm going to do is abstract animals, but I'm going to do, oh, the mouse is the other one. But um, I'm going to do these paintings of like the butterfly is going to be an abstract butterfly knife. You'll see it in the painting, but it won't be some crisp, beautiful butterfly knife. I'm going to do the same thing with um, one of the... I already forgot the name. Um, the, the Tenacious, most likely, by Spyderco. Spyderco, I'm going to do, because it looks like a mouse, that's going to be the mouse. Uh, I'm going to do the shark, which will be the Case Hammerhead or the Case Mako. They pretty much look the same. Uh, just different sizes, but I'm going to do the shark. And I'm going to do the uh, the crocodile, which is the D-Bad Crow Gall, right? So it's going to be abstract, and they're going to be all one-offs. That's it, just one-off done. Today, I'm going to do an abstract tomahawk, right? So basically, I'm just going to take some paints, and I'm going to put them down the canvas, and then I'm going to paint, and then somehow I will make in there an image that resembles some kind of outline of a tomahawk. And you say, yeah, but you already mentioned that you get bored with brushes. Well, that's true. So I decided to come up with a, a new way to paint. Um, I'm going to use knives. So this one right here is a knife that I absolutely love, right? This one is, um, is one of those Cisco blades, a Cisco carbon blade. And what I did is I took it downstairs and I took off the edge. Right, took off the edge on all three of these that I'm using. Um, this of the three knives I'm using is definitely one of, there's only one that I hate. But this one, I actually really like this. And somebody's pulling in my driveway. I don't know who it is. I think they're just turning around because my driveway looks like a side street. So I get that a lot. People think they're going down a road. It's just my driveway. All right, so I'm going to use this as one of my brushes. I'm also going to use a sharp finger, which you know I love the design. This one is, uh, who the hell makes this one? Let's see. This is, oh, uh, I think it's a, I don't even know, is that a white tail or something? It's kind of hard to read because it's all just mushed together. But I'm going to use this one and again. I took off the edge, not only that, but I took off the tip that way I can make lines without cutting through my canvas, right? And the good thing about these brushes is they all come with their own sheath. They're a lot easier to clean than other brushes. Um, and outside of that, the only knife that I hate out of this whole bunch is this M-Tech uh, Tracker. Um, I hate this style of blade. Just can't stand it. Just can't stand it. And you think, well, if you hate the knife so much, why are you going to use it? Well, mainly because I hate it. So I never use this thing, never, ever, ever. Um, what I did is I took off the edge, took off the edge here so I can use this to pull. And then I can use this right here to make like graded lines. So I think that could come in handy. Um, so that's why I'm gonna use this. It's not terribly uncomfortable. 
it's just terribly. Um, so these are my three brushes and I'm going to be painting on a canvas. I'm probably just going to do it outside right here. I'm just going to throw down some paint and start going and I'll even show you, obviously I'm not going to make you sit there and watch the whole thing, but I'll show you each step as the process goes. So the first step of the process is just me laying down some color to get this thing started and it's going to look like pretty much nothing at first but let me at least pick out a color all right so i'm going to start with this blue color um i think this is neon blue blue fluorescent is what it's called they have them all lined up there in this little box that i got so that's what this one is what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna spread some of the blue onto the canvas to where I think I want my sky, not where I think I want my sky. We pretty much know where a sky is. And if you don't know where a sky is, you have got some splaining to do. All right, so I'm gonna start with the sharp finger. And what I wanna do is I just wanna pull the paint and push the paint and get it to cover a whole good area of this canvas, right? It doesn't have to cover the whole thing. It doesn't have to be um, fully painted, like it's gonna be white in between, but there's gonna be other colors going in, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna back and forth and I'm gonna make it so you can see the lines going through. What I don't want is these big drips. So I'm just gonna get rid of those and just continue to smear this. Now this isn't gonna be some Bob Ross happy little hawk. This is a deadly tomahawk which makes me happy. So it's gonna be a different kind of happy little. It's gonna be happy little destruction, right? So I'm gonna finish this part and then I'll show you, hold on. All right, my beautiful blue sky is all blue skied, right? So now here's the thing, when artists brush and they, they do a painting with their with their brushes, um, it, uh, it's convenient for them to then clean their brush and go to the next color and all that. We're not gonna do any of that. I will never clean anything off of my knives as I go. I'll clean it up once I'm done, but not as I go because I want these colors to just absolutely blend and freak each other out and do really good. All right, so now we are going to go with some kind of green. Um, uh, oh, it's holiday green. I gotta take the plastic off of this. So basically the process remains the same. I'm going to just drop some color and then I'm going to put it where I want it with the with the edge of my hand, with the edge of my blade. So, and here it goes, and you're gonna see the blue mixes in automatically with it, And uh, but that's okay. That's okay, I like that, I want that. That's why it's abstract, right? That's why it's happy little, because I get to do whatever the hell I want. So, I'm just gonna pull paint, push paint, move paint, and have a, have a good old time. Um, I have to say already, even though I just got started, this is way more enjoyable than using <laughs> brushes, uh, which I just don't like to do. So here we go. I will, uh, I will show you what I end up with once this is done. Hold on. All right, so far so good. I'm getting the paint moved to, to where I want it. Now, obviously these first two colors, it's just a base basically to separate my two elements, right? Earth and sky. So now it's gonna to come to just mixing stuff within the earth and sky until I get the abstract look that I want and make it all pop. So that is what I have to do next and get all that down and then I can add all my extra stuff and then begin to add my hawk, which is going to be the centerpiece of this piece in the center. All right, hold on. Now it's time to add a little bit of yellow. And I'm just gonna put this kind of all over in just ways that I want it. And I'm going to take out my other brush <laughs> and I'm going to start working the yellow in different ways to create a pattern among the paint so that's where the yellow is going to come in and remember yellow and blue make green so once my yellow and blue mix it's just going right back into the green so 
this is going to be it. I'm just going to push and spread my yellow paint just to give it a little bit of boundary and let it collect itself within my property over here. And uh, I'll show you what that looks All right, with the yellow down, I'm now adding some orange and I'm going to try and push some of the orange on the bottom using my serrations and just drag it through and give it this really cool effect that only the serrations can do and it's working out exactly how I pictured it so that's going to be really cool it's just going to be uh, all over the place it's just going to add color where it was just green it'll just add little squirts of, of different oranges and it'll pull the yellows and things like that and that's going to be really cool um, what I can do is begin to use the the Tonto tip there to just pull straight lines and then I'll show you what it's gonna look all right so with my straight lines pulled I'm gonna use my serrations again and I'm just going to carry those through and open up just a spread out color base and I'm gonna start pulling all these colors into the entire painting remember I don't want this to look exactly like trees because it's going to be abstract what I want to do is give a base of tree first and that way I can spread them out so I know that behind my painting behind the abstract there will be trees just you're not going to see them and when I do this wave right here I'm not sure if you guys are picking that up but as I come through with this wave it's giving a really really cool effect within this orange paint and uh, it's going to pull a lot of these colors together and it's going to make it kind of look pretty awesome when it's done so this is my base I already have in here I have trees I have grass I have sky but all that's going to change now all right so I can't show you all my tricks but I can show you where I'm at um, so far the colors in here they're they're getting really really nicely tossed around um i used a different technique to pull and push um at the same time to where i can separate and now i'm going to use the tip of this to basically get the shape of this so what i'm going to do is i already know um how my hawk goes so i know it's kind of that way and I'm, I'm not gonna add do this specific one all over but I know that my hawk is going to be since it's abstract really really cool it's going to come in here as a sketch inside the painting and then I will get paint on top of my sketch and that's how the hawk is going to be added in. So while you can't tell from there, I can see where it is. All right, hold on. All right, so if y'all know abstract, you'll know abstract, right? But inside there, let me get my shadow and my big head out of there. Um, inside there, I can't see what you guys are seeing, but um, there is the hidden tomahawk inside there. So this is gonna be my hawk, right? Um, I did a few tricks that are, are like, tricks of mine that I like to use and I, that I've not seen people do too much so or, or at all so um I, I like to keep some of my tricks my tricks so I can't show every piece of what I did but um I mean you get the gist real quick by by looking um you can see where the where the hawk was how it was influenced you can um catch how the uh, paint breaks down into into different aspects of the painting and, and where it's supposed to be and what it's supposed to mean um, and you know like they say there's there's no such thing as bad art which I disagree with um, like there's plenty of bad art because there's gonna be 500 people who are gonna freaking hate this they're gonna say it looks like a six-year-old did it um, and then there's gonna be people that they're gonna be people that look at it and go oh my god okay I could see exactly where he was going but um, so this one 
this one I think is pretty much done. I might just do a little bit of a little bit of sunset. I want to add a little brightness. Hold on. All right, so I got to let this thing dry, but that is my first um, painting that is 100% done with knives and not like painting knives. There's putty knives and things like that. There's knives that are made to paint with, but they're not real knives. They're just painting knives. They're completely different. This is my first painting and maybe who knows the first painting done with three actual hunting knives with three real blades. Um, right here, you can see there's my signature is in there. It says DBAD right there, and then I'll, I'll put it with a marker on the edge with the date. Um, but there we go. That's number one out of the series. One of one. This is the Hawk. And uh, I have to say, for those of you who hate the style of art, you are going to hate this style of art. For those of you who love art with a lot of color and just art that you have to look at to, to see and not see to look at, um, you might actually dig this kind of stuff. But uh, I know I do. This one's all right. This one's in the books. So next animal, who knows what I'm going to do next. But I'll do something. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All Day. Until next video.